David Allen's GTD book separates how you use your calendar and your task list. They can create confusion when you want to set aside times on your calendar to do your work. I'm Dave Edwards. I received this really good question from Linda, which kind of addresses the issue. She writes, hey, Dave, I don't get it. I know that David Allen suggests that we only put time-based items on our calendar, but yet I hear you advocate for time blocking. What gives? I appreciate your email and your question, Linda. So let's start with an understanding of the concepts. According to GTD methodology, if you have an appointment, it goes on your calendar. Things you need to do or next actions go on their own list. Time blocking is when you divide your day into blocks of time, and during those time periods, you work on a specific task. What you don't want to do is put your list of next actions on your calendar. That just doesn't make sense. Let's say if you don't get all of this done on a particular day, now you have to put the items back on your task list or copy them to another day, and that is not very efficient. But now, let's say you have some things to work on that's going to take an hour or two to finish. It's perfectly okay to carve out a block of time to do that work. Now your next action becomes an appointment with yourself to do the work. If you don't, your schedule might fill up with meetings and you won't have a chance to get your work done. That doesn't run counter to the GTD philosophy. But as I said, if you listed every next action on your calendar, well, first of all, that's unrealistic. And that does run counter to the GTD philosophy. When you review your calendar, view it as some kind of a commitment that like you had, let's say, a meeting with your boss. You're going to protect that time. Time blocking is protecting time to getting your work done. The only exception would be if there is an emergency. But in an emergency, you'd cancel the meeting with your boss and reschedule it. And the same thing applies here. By the way, I have a few weekly time blocks, which I view as standing appointments. Uh, morning exercise, my startup routine, which involves email and uh, checking my calendar and reviewing my tasks. And in the late afternoon, I have a end of day routine that's blocked out on my calendar. And once a week, my weekly review is sacrosanct on my calendar. So the bottom line, my message is don't overuse time blocks, but don't underuse them either. If you have a question about GTD or productivity, maybe I can help answer it. Just send me an email. My email address is daveedwards at outlook.com. GTD is a wonderful and powerful tool. I've been using it for decades. But if you read David Allen's book or see any of his seminars, you'll quickly find out that it was designed for paper-based systems. Allen told me once that it's platform agnostic, but he likes the paper-based approach. Well, that's not practical for everyone. Within one year, I started traveling a lot for my job, and it wasn't easy to transport all my files with me. That led me to figure out how to create a digital GTD system. So I've created an hour-long, on-demand course on the subject. Find out more at DaveEdwardsMedia.com. Click on Courses 